because Disney knows you from The Lion King, mm-hmm. you end up becoming Moana for Brazil. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's not casual. That's definitely not casual. <laughs> <laughs> I was 13 when that happened. And um, it's not so much connected to Lion King. It, it was just like, at that point, I had been in the industry for a couple of years. And I knew a couple people. And they just mentioned my name to this audition that was going on for this Disney princess. And the age group for the audition was kind of like 16 to 19 and I was 13 at the time but they still heard me sing and they're like oh bring her in let's see what happens and that was my first time doing uh voice acting so I remember doing the songs and I was kind of I felt kind of good after the songs I was like okay okay I, I got a shot here and then when I had to do the talking it was my first time the director was so like strict he, he's awesome but he's his poker face is wow like he's really good at it so i could never tell if i was doing good or if i was doing terrible and i took kind of longer than expected in the audition so i remember leaving the room being like oh my god i I just destroyed my reputation here like this is awful and And it turns out that they were like wow this is great and i just got the part and i was moana and it took three months for them to just tell me that i was moana wow what is it like to record the entire movie it is in another language because you have to dub it. So you have to match your voice to what they're already saying in English because they're not going to go oh, yeah. and reanimate it. Exactly. Um, it was so new to me in the beginning, but um, I got the hang of it pretty easy because it's like it's close to acting, you know, but there's just like a couple of things that you learn along the way. Uh, but it's definitely fun. It's definitely fun. Like the things that I would do just to to access the perfect pitch or the perfect intonation or whatever it was um was really like funny like sometimes i would have to just do a frown face or (laughs) you know or just bite onto something depending on the scene um but it is a lot of focus because like you said i'm listening to someone speaking english Mm -hmm. in my headphones and i am reading the words in portuguese and a lot of the times we have to just kind of scratch it because it doesn't match the lip syncing or whatever and the scenes weren't fully animated at the time. So Moana, oh, wow. a lot of the times would be like bald or naked, <laughs> you know, or just like little. Yeah, it wasn't Moana. She wasn't Moana yet. So there's like a time code and this weird animation going on. So you just really have to focus and make sure that you're saying it on the right time. Um, and it was just like three months of a lot of work in the studio. That's wild. It is Pretty cool. It is cool. If you were to watch Moana today, would you watch your version or the English version? I watch the English version. I really like it too, but I always watch myself. Like that's, I usually don't like to watch myself. Like I don't watch my interviews. I don't listen to a lot of things that I do because I'm so like judgy. So I'm going to be judgy. I'm like, oh, I should have should have done this should have done that but this is you Um, but not you yeah this is like different i don't know every time i watch it i'm I'm always like oh my god i'm a disney princess you know (laughs) (laughs) and i like to bring in my family and my friends to watch it with me so yeah portuguese all the way that's interesting was the director like not in brazil working with you or what no he was there's a lot of directing that comes from um america yeah uh because everything has to go through america but um the director was there in Brazil with me. And it's it's so interesting. Like when we're doing a Disney princess, it's so intricate. Like every single breath matters. Oh, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. So we're, we're doing like line, like word by word, sometimes line by line. And like they're so specific. So sometimes it's just like this little thing. And we have to change because someone in America didn't <laughs> like it. the way I was breathing on this one scene. But also that's why I say that Lion King and Moana are connected. Because I know for a fact that like, they have like files on every human being in every part of the world that's ever auditioned for them. So when Mm -hmm. they go back and have to recast people, they can look through their files and see like, oh, we saw X thousands of girls who can speak Portuguese who are in Brazil. And uh, yeah, there's no way they don't. They, they didn't associate. Yeah, they probably... They probably oh, they associated. definitely did. Yeah. They definitely did. Uh, a lot of people asked me if I was Moana because I looked like her, but... Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't really matter. No offense. <laughs> I mean, um, I look like Moana, but I'm like, that's not why, but it's, it's just such a coincidence. But like one of the girls that was running for the role as well, she's like a redhead. So I was like, I always say that. I'm like, see, no, it's not just because I look like her. But you'd make a good live action Moana. Do you hear that, Disney? Mm, put that one out there. <laughs> yeah. You should. 